Je. The governor has chosen perfectly within her rights that she will not give evidence. And whereas that's within her rights and she can't be faulted for it, we find ourselves at a disadvantage. And the disadvantage is as follows. The governor has had ample time to challenge our case and our evidence, and specifically to challenge the evidence of the mover of the motion. Our problem is, even as she exercises our right not to take to the witness stand, she has filed before you several affidavits, one of them by herself, some of them three or four others, by persons who will not also be taken to the witness stand. By law, those affidavits are part of your record. By law, those affidavits are evidence. The whole essence of an affidavit is that it is sworn evidence in writing. To the extent that these people are not being called to testify and specifically to be cross-examined, we run the distinct disadvantage that whereas the governor's side has had the ample opportunity to challenge all our witnesses by way of cross-examination, we deny an equal opportunity. Chair, you just said what is good for the goose is good for the gander. Now, our problem, Chair, is we can't force persons who are unwilling to testify, to take the witness stand. But I also understand, whereas the decision the governor and the deponents of those affidavits have made is perfectly within their rights, the decision they took is not to give evidence in chief. We would want it to be clear from the record that we are making an application to cross-examine the governor and our witnesses on the deposition set out in those affidavits. Of course, Chair, they can still choose. They don't want to avail themselves for that cross-examination. If they choose, they have already chosen they don't want to give evidence in chief, perfectly within their rights. But if they also choose that they don't want to be cross-examined and we are making the application under Rule 10 of your rules, that they be called so that we cross-examine them. They are not obliged to accede to that request here, but it should be clear on the record that they are not amenable to be cross-examined so that in our closing statements, then we'll crave your leave to address you on the implications. Because if that issue is not addressed, you remain with our evidence directly challenged, which is okay, but the evidence taken for gospel truth without the opportunity on our part to show the gaps, to show the contradictions, hopefully some falsehoods, and in short, it will not be a fair trial. This is a trial. The Senate is sitting as a trial chamber. So let them confirm to you. We already have their confirmation that these persons will not testify but let them also confirm to you for the record whether they also don't want to be cross-examined so that we close that matter 
and then I can proceed with the business at hand. Would you like to indicate precisely on what it is you would like to cross-examine the governor? Because he has given a lot of evidence. Are you telling the chair that you want to cross-examine her on her affidavit? On her affidavit, chair, and her formal response to the case, because she has filed before you a response to the motion. She has also filed before you an affidavit, which is evidence. We are entitled, of course, subject to what you decide, but by law, we are entitled to test that evidence and every position she has taken in that response and in that affidavit. And it's not just our chair. There are several other people whose affidavits are also on your record on our side. So to answer your question, Chair, we want to cross-examine her on everything set out in our response and specifically in our affidavit together with those other affidavits of other witnesses. But she is the Liberty Chair. I must point out this and I've said it ad nauseum. She is the Liberty to tell you that she is not amenable because at the end of the day you cannot force anyone to testify. And even if you do, nothing useful can come from someone you're forcing to speak if they don't want to testify on their own case. 